launching a satellite into orbit is a marvel of modern engineering and physics that begins with a powerful rocket propelling the satellite away from Earth's surface. These rockets are designed to overcome Earth's gravitational pull, which requires an immense amount of thrust generated by combusting fuel at high speeds. As the rocket ascends, it sheds different stages to lose weight, allowing it to accelerate even more effectively. This ascent isn't just about going up, it's about reaching the right speed and altitude to enter orbit, which is a delicate balance to achieve. Once the satellite reaches the edge of space, it needs to attain a specific horizontal velocity to stay in orbit around the Earth. This is where the concept of orbital mechanics comes into play. By accelerating the satellite to a speed of approximately 28,000 km per hour for low Earth orbit, it begins to fall around the Earth rather than back down to the surface. Essentially, the satellite is moving forward so quickly that as it is pulled by gravity towards Earth, the curve of the Earth falls away beneath it. This creates a continuous free fall around the planet which is what we call an orbit. Satellites stay in orbit because of the perfect balance between their forward momentum and the gravitational pull of the Earth. Sir Isaac Newton described this phenomenon with his cannonball thought experiment if a cannonball is fired with enough speed from a mountain, it would fall towards Earth but miss it because the Earth curves away underneath. In the vacuum of space, without air resistance to slow it down, the satellite maintains its speed and thus its orbit for an extended period. Small adjustments are occasionally made to correct any deviations but otherwise the satellite gracefully continues its journey around our planet, enabling technologies like GPS, weather forecasting and global communications.